So this is getting test center and you get to this point, stop here. If there is nobody coming, move into one of these bays on your right hand side. If you're performing a maneuver, they're going to ask you to do a forward bay parking or reverse bay parking and that's how you're going to do the maneuver. Okay, so now we're going to start our test. This is my car parked here and they're going to ask you to read the number plates which are right there. Okay, so now we're going to start our test. So we are going to start our test from here. Move off. Now we are going to take our first stop here and can you see there is a ye yellow box junction? So we signal right and we start turning. You are not going to go straight out and the next stop is going to be here and checking to your left nobody is coming and then you are going to start moving. So this is a 10 speed a mile and you're going to make a round circle around the test center. Look for the arrows which says exit on it and keep following it. And also look for the blue arrow sign. A lot of people say this is a very hard test center because as soon as you get out of the test center, you get the Yedding roundabout. We have a Yedding roundabout uh, video specifically covering Yedding roundabout, so keep an eye on this. Keep following the exit signs, but it's not a uh, difficult test center. Trust me, it's very easy because it takes you a lot of time before you get to the roundabout. So now we are approaching the uh, stopping line and you're going to signal right. The reason is the examiner won't take you to the left. That's a residential and plus it's a dead end. So you check properly, you move quickly if it's safe and then you get to this mini mini roundabout and you go ahead first exit. And then you come to the end of the road. And today I will be taking first exit left from the Yedding roundabout. So I position my car fully to the left with a signal to the left. Now I move here. And as you can see, the left lane is left turning only. Make sure you approach the roundabout slowly. That gives you time to check who's coming from the right and make sure you don't take any risk. It's better safe than sorry. So don't try to rush that. A lot of people say, oh, but I could have gone. Yeah, but you could have also failed. So now the speed limit is 50. vehicle in front of us so we keep our speed a little low the reason we are not overtaking this vehicle is because we are taking the next exit to the left and now we start signaling left so now end of the road when we have taken this um, exit end of the road that's another roundabout that Ozzy Garvin roundabout and we are going to take the third exit right on this roundabout. This is the roundabout where we have the big Sainsbury's on the third exit. So now we stay in the middle lane. As you can see, the middle lane is also um, the arrow is going to the right as well. And because the middle lane was the second lane from the right hand side, so you keep to the second lane like just behind this car. So we have crossed the first exit. 
After the second exit, you try to move fully to the left, but after the exit, you signal left and then you start moving. Because if you stay in the very left lane before your exit, that is the easiest thing for you. And now you have to be again very careful because these two lanes are merging into one lane. So keep an eye on your right hand side. Now you see, keep going ahead. And this road is 40 miles an hour. This is Uxbridge Road. And then you wanna carry on ahead. So make sure you don't take this side road still you're positioning to the very left lane which is going ahead so now we move off so this is Uxbridge Road you try to stick to your left hand side lane as much as possible unless you have parked vehicle on the left lane then you have to overtake them, but then coming back to your lane as soon as possible. Remember one thing, it's all your responsibility when you're overtaking somebody or a vehicle, you have to check your middle mirror and your right mirror as you're overtaking them, as that can cause a serious mistake. From the next traffic light, you're going to take the uh, road to the left. You're going to turn left from the next traffic light, and that is Church Road. So now you can signal left because it's like around five to six car length away from the traffic light. the speed limit is going down to 20 mile an hour. Now I'm going to take the next road to the right, be very careful, it's a very tiny road and if there are oncoming vehicles, it's going to be even more tight. Now it's again 30. you. 
and now you have to go through these barriers and as I always say go into gear one you don't want to hit your mirror or your instructor's mirror so now we are coming to this roundabout which is the circle is quite big but it's not a big roundabout and I'm going to take the third exit ahead so that's the first exit this is the second exit and after the second exit I signal left Now, as you can see, there is a blue signboard and it shows that we have the priority because we have the white arrow. So the other person is going to wait for us. Thank you very much. Nice people here. And we carry on. Second exit, sorry, I forgot to say that. And now we have to be careful if somebody's coming or not, nobody's coming, he's far away. I'm gonna take the next road to the right now, just in front of the school. And then follow the road. It's a very typical uh, Yedding test center route. So it's again 20. Now, end of the road, you're going to turn left. Make sure you stop at the stopping line because it's a, it's a blind junction. You can't see properly. And did you see this guy? He was actually coming into my lane as well. So in the test, everything is your responsibility. So be very careful. Now this is a roundabout end. I'm gonna stop here because there are cars coming from the right. And now that's it. I'm gonna take the second exit. And this road, remember this road is one way. How do you check that it's a one way road? First of all, there are blue arrows on the side. The other thing, look for the parked cars. They're on the, both sides, they're facing towards the other side. Same side, they're facing the same side. That means it's a one way. Now, very end of the road, I'm gonna turn right. So now you can see on the ground that left arrow, right arrow. And if I'm turning right, I'm gonna stay fully to the right. Because if I go and stop in the middle, I can get a serious mistake. If I go to the left, I'm definitely going to get a serious mistake. So I'm going to turn right towards um, Uxbridge Road and I'm going to stop in the middle. Nobody's coming from the right, so I'm slowly going to move into this spot. Still signaling. And I have a car on my left hand side. 
So I'm going to be very careful which lane to choose. So I have a car on my left. That's why I'm not going to go to the left hand side. If I didn't have a car on my left hand side, I would actually move straight to the left side. But now I'm going to move to the left as the right lane is overtaking lane. So don't worry about that you cannot take your lane immediately. You can do that afterwards. You don't need to panic because, oh, I have to be in the left lane. But make sure you do it. Now you can see the van is signaling to the left. So we stay a little behind so we don't have to do harsh braking. He's gone and now we can speed up. So make sure when you drive, you drive relax. Never panic while you're driving and never rush. But don't be super slow. Now we're approaching the, uh, the traffic light and can you see the left board? It says the left lane is left turning only. So I'm going to position my car into the middle lane behind the bus. And now I'm going to move to this left lane. So never go straight to the right lane. Now I'm going to move to the right lane because I know there's a bus stop coming and the bus is going to stop there. As you can see right there. And then I'm going to move back to the left lane. So now we are going to move off. Stay behind as he's signaling he's gonna park his car make sure you're patient because there are people who are gonna park they are gonna do their grocery they're gonna drop their children to school so make sure you're always patient enough And now I'm going to check my right side as you can see my lane is getting quite narrow and further up there's a bus lane and at this time this bus lane is active as it's only 920 but this bus lane is free after 10 o'clock between 10 and 4 you can use this bus lane. So now I'm going to move to the very left lane after the bus lane and from the traffic light I'm going to turn left. Make sure you check your left mirror including the middle mirror and this is a 30 road. stopping there and we have a bend in front of us so we have to be very careful checking signaling and don't be too far away from him because it's a bend you don't know who's coming in what speed
from the next traffic light I'm gonna turn right And normally we stop here if somebody's coming from the other side, but nobody's coming, so I take my turn. And this road is still 30. But I tell you one thing try to be in second gear on this road. Too many hazards, too much, too many parked cars on the left and right. That's a traffic control light. And did you see how that um, guy on that thing just suddenly came in front of the other car? So that was a big hazard. So now we are getting to Yedding roundabout because we are getting close to the test center and remember this video is not very long because remember the examiner will make you stop several times and he's also going to ask you to do a maneuver and maybe an emergency stop so we are going ahead second exit so as you can see the left lane is left turning only I position my car into the middle lane slowly slowly moving forward checking to the right hand side if nobody is coming only then you move and further up inside the roundabout you can see there are two lanes and I'm going to position my car to the very left lane so now I move quickly checking my left mirror as well because you cannot trust people that from the left turning lane they're going to turn left no 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 that's not the case they can do anything so now I'm going to move to the right lane but I have a car on my right so I'm going to let him go and then I'm going to, yes, I'm going to position and I'm going to go back to the test center making a U-turn. Now I'm going to signal left, getting into my left lane and then turning left. And now I'm going to signal left. The examiner will ask you to go straight into one of the bay parking. And nobody's coming. So the examiner will ask you either to do a reverse or forward bay parking. So at the moment, I'm just going to do a reverse bay parking. Secure the car, switch off the engine. That's it. That's the whole uh, one of the test routes for Yedding Test Center. Don't remember, don't be scared of Yedding Test Center. It is easy test center, it's not a difficult test center. So don't try to if you're living near Yedding Test Center, make sure you do Yedding Test Center or South Hall Test Center. A lot of time people will ask you, no, let's go to the Ashford Test Center, let's go to Chelsea Test Center. Trust me, that's going to be a lot of waste of time for you as they're going to be far away. And by the time you reach there, you have already spent half of your lesson for that test center. So why not practicing near your house, near where you live? And uh, that's it. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to hit the like button and also click on the bell notification. So you get all our uh, videos as soon as we upload them and um, we are gonna keep uploading more videos and about getting test center every test center so keep watching good luck for your tests